Hi, Christina here, and today I'm going to give you a look at Saxon Math. Now, we just finished using the program for the second year for three of our children, so we have experience with a number of the different levels. Now, this is part two. In part one, I looked at the grade three and lower because there is that format, but this one is looking at the grade four and higher because the format changes. So I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a look at three of the levels that we have on hand and have used to show you what those look like. So here's a really quick overview of 5, 4, 6, 5, and 7, 6. They all come in the same way. They come with the main book, the solutions manual, and the tests and worksheets. So I'm going to just go through each one and give you a quick explanation of them. Now while I have these three levels here, the 8, 7, which I do not currently have, is set up in the same format. So we'll start off with the 5-4. So this is the book that the student is going to be using. So it is quite thick. Let's see. Over 600 pages. Starts off in the beginning here with how many lessons there are, what is included in each lesson, as well as the page number. So this by four has 120 lessons and they have these things called investigations as well. So there are 12 investigations in there. Then they have some extra topics uh, like Roman numerals and base five and then a supplementary practice section as well as a glossary and an index. So there's information about the program and then list of materials and right into the lesson. So these books are meant to be done independently as opposed to the younger ones which are done with a parent. So they start with a warm-up section. There's the new concept that they go through. They give examples of it. And then there's a section for the child to practice what they've just learned. And then there's what they call mixed practice, which is like review from everything that they've done. And that's the lesson. So let me just show you in here, in these tests and worksheets, every day they're going to get a facts practice sheet and it corresponds with the lesson. You'll see it here and they're going to do this every single day and it's a variety of them. They also have the masters in here, which are these kind of sheets that you need for um, some lessons, but there's a, a wide variety addition, subtraction, um, fractions, um, there's percentages near the end as well. So they're going to be doing that with the lesson. And those come in here in tarot sheets. They also do one of these with each test as well. So in the book here, it actually doesn't have tests in here. These are just the lessons and investigations. What they have at the back here is a testing schedule. So it tells you when to administer the test and what it's going to be covering. So my son has done part of this one already. He's done up to uh, test six. But one thing I did want to show you, the tests are usually single sided, about 20 questions. And I really like under here, there's little numbers. And these are the lesson numbers that each of these questions deals with. So when my child gets one wrong, um, I can go back to that lesson and help him explain I know exactly where it is. So that's one of the good things I really like about this. Now after that, let's see here. Nope, before. Nope. Sorry, it's the other book. So that's a look at that one. So that's everything they're gonna be pulling out from that book. And then over in this book, this is the solution manual. So this is gonna have the solutions to all the lessons and the investigations. But then at the back here, they have the solutions to all of these fact sheets. So you're able to mark them real quick if you need to. So that's A through J. And then here, they have all the test answers at the very back here. Um, we did find a few wrong answers over the two times we've done this, so um, there are a few, but for the most part, they're right. That is the solutions manual there. 
So I think that's everything. Oh, I'll show you the investigation. So investigation is usually done after like the 10th lesson. So let's see, that's lesson 10 here. And there's investigation. So this one is focusing on number lines. And again, I ask them to do certain things. Um, and then that's it for the day. So it's typically a shorter lesson or more um, just different, I guess. So that is a quick look at the Saxon 5-4. Now what I have my son do is he does those questions. He does instead of doing them in here because we keep this for future children, um, he does them in his book like that. And then his tests and those fact sheets we just put in a binder in order like this. And you can see there, I have the test on a this paper, I just find it's tidier, more space for them to work. And then I just mark if they got um, which one's wrong. And then they typically um, either go back and do that lesson or we go back and do some work on it. I should just show you two at the end here. The end of the book here, oh, one page ripped. Is these topics. So these are like Roman numerals. These are special topics, they're short little sections. And then they have supplementary practice. So if your child's having trouble with a particular lesson, it's not every lesson, but they have a number of them here, of extra questions you can give them if they need the help. So that is a look at the 5-4. So here's a look at the 6-5. And I know the numbers are a little confusing. Um, there are um, tests they can do, that placement tests, to help them find out where they should be. Um, an explanation kind of of those levels, but we're kind of just doing them in order. So again, the three different books. This one is, I think around 600 pages again. Um, it's quite a big book. And again, I set up in the same way. So again, lesson with the investigations every 10th lesson, telling you what the lesson is about, what page they're on. And this one has those um, special sections, topics at the end as well. There we go. So there are 120 lessons, 12 investigations, and then there's that Roman numeral and base five section and the supplementary practice glossary index. And again, it's set up in very much the same way. So there's the warm up, the new concept is given. There's the lesson practice for the new concept, and then there's the mixed practice, which is a review of kind of everything they've learned. So again, tests and worksheets come in this book here. And uh, let's see, there's a few left in here, I think. These are the fact ones. Now, um, you can decide if you want to time the kids or not. I typically don't on some of the ones where they have um, even more um, or every now and then I do time them, but usually I just have them do it all. Again, American program, American money. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that in this video, but I did in the other one. So you may have to supplement if you're Canadian like us with Canadian money. Here's some of those sheets. And then the tests are at the back. There's a testing schedule. All the tests have been used because he's already finished this program. And again, the solutions manual, all of the answers. And then at the very back are the test answers. And then there's those fact sheet ones just before that, like that. Again, I would just take out um, from here what they needed to do each week and then put it in a binder and keep it there. And he would do the questions from here in a notebook. So that's a look at the six five. So here is the seven six, and again, same format, same layout. Um, there's 120 lessons, 12 investigations, and it describes them all here. And then this one only has one Roman numerals, and then there's a supplementary practice, the glossary, the index, set up exactly the same way, your warm up, your new concept, different examples, practicing it, trying the new concept, and then the mixed practice here, which is like a review. I have my son do that in a notebook. So he does that part in here. 
And then you're going to give him or the child the sheet for the day, which we keep in a binder along with tests. I have them do the test on um, just lined paper, just because there's more space, it's a little easier. The answer key, again, all the answers here with the test in the very back and these fact sheets here. So I know that's really quickly through here, but I feel like after I just went through the other ones, um, you can kind of see how it works because it is all the same. Now, cost-wise, we keep this book and just purchase these two new books as each child needs each grade, which makes it, um, it, it is costly in the beginning, but a little more cost-effective as we go through it. So there you go. There is a look at the grade four and up, up until you get to like the algebra and the advanced math, look at Saxon math. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is that in the student book, when they are doing their mixed practice, it says these little numbers underneath. And that's gonna tell you what lesson that question came from. So if your child's having a hard time, they can go back and look at that lesson and see the new concept in that lesson and learn how to answer the question. Now, as someone who, math is not always my favorite, I love that feature because when my child needs help, I can help them know exactly where to go. We can go through it together and I can answer those questions. So, pros and cons. What do we like, what do we not like about it? It is independent. From that fourth grade up, it is meant to be done independently, which I really like. I believe there is a CD that you can get. We haven't used that. This has worked really well. I've had two children go through these levels so far. Um, the grade five, four is the second time they're going through it. The six, five and the seven, six, um, have been through once. The names are a little confusing. That's something I don't really like, but, um, overall the program, it's very basic. Some might call it dry. I don't think it's dry. I know some people feel like it's a lot of work. And so they have children do just evens or just odd questions. I feel like it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take my kids that long to do it. And I feel like it needs to be thorough. They need a really good foundation in math. And so they just do the questions. It's never been an issue. We do offer them the opportunity when they do the test. If they get it 100% right, then I look at the next few lessons and see which chapters are more review chapters or do they already know. And then they can skip those lessons. The beginning, we also start off each level by giving them the test. If they get 100%, they move on to the next one. As soon as they get a question wrong, that's where we stop. We go back and do that lesson and then start from there. So like I shared in my other video in the part one, a child can do more than one level in one year in that sense. And that can be a pro or a con for your family, just depending if you like doing one grade one year or you want the child just to kind of progress at their natural learning. Pros, cons, different ways to look at it. Um, I already mentioned about the cost and how we reuse some of the math and so that saves in the long run. We have a total of five children, so I know these books will be well used. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think overall we really like the program. Um, it works, it gives a good foundation, and so we're going to stick with it for now and we're going to continue on with it. If there's any questions or I've missed something or it hasn't been clear, please leave it down in the comments below and I will answer that, those questions for you. Uh, if this has been helpful, please give that thumbs up button a hit and don't forget to subscribe. But otherwise, I hope that you're having a really good day. Take care.